This project is a flying wind turbine called Daisy. It looks like a fun arts toy, but Daisy's a working kite. She's an airborne wind turbine designed for strong, high altitude winds, stronger than a normal turbine could reach. Flying wind turbines avoid the cost of CO2 that towers and their supporting structure require. And Daisy is the very first generating prototype of a tethered ring turbine. I'm quite proud of that. So I started working over two years ago, coming up with all sorts of ideas on airborne wind energy and I've mixed and mashed all sorts. And after chopping and changing, I've come up with this. It's one lifting kite, one lightweight flying bearing, uh, one, and it's hopefully going to be many more, spinning kite sets and a heavy wheel on the bottom and that's the, the where the generator is going to be placed. The heavy kit's on the bottom, the light kit on the top to make it safe and expandable. So it's nowhere near complete. It works and yeah, it looks fun. It is fun. You can join in. It's an open source project. So the overall goal here is to lower the levelized cost of energy production and make it economic and ecologically sensible. Uh, it's quite a large goal. Um, yeah, I know this looks like a toy, but I, I reckon I'm going the right way about it. I'd like it if everyone joined in. And th this scale isn't going to hit it. This is more like a, a camper, a, a cyclist, eco house. You can use this for communications already with the, the height of the lifting kite and, and the fact you've got power. But th these are designed to get bigger. And with the right sort of weather cocking lifting setup, uh, I'll be able to make this a, a lot better. Now, also, the other way you can make it better is to stick it in the tide and array it uh, upside down across, like, say, an estuary. You'll see that in the video coming up. The amount of energy and the amount of money needed to produce energy is what I'm trying to fix. It's safer and more scalable to do it this way than any other airborne wind energy project I've seen so far, even, like, ones that Google come up with. So... The idea is unique because these kites, they fly a fast, wide, circular path using an inflated uh, ring hub. That's kind of a parachute. And there's no drive shaft for transmitting the torque to ground. Instead, what you use are these tensioned uh, rings. So the inflated rings uh, spread out and you've got tethers between them. Therefore, you can twist energy down to the ground. And the kites don't need control yet. I'm going to build that into future versions with... Uh, either aeroelasticity or electronic controls. There's only soft structures and one very lightweight roller blade bearing up at the very top. So it's it's a very safe system. So I use bearings, like I say, right up at the top. That allows lifting the kite. It's a roller blade wheel I use up there, so it's simple sealed uh, bearing set pair up there. The bottom I use uh, mountain bike wheel and so that uh, has to have a lot more actual thrust applied through it so I did previously use car bearing sets but a bit too heavy for what I had uh, obviously bearings are absolutely vital in energy transfer when it's a rotational system like this now as the project changes and grows I'm going to need better thrust bearings and that, that's that's all going to change but stuff like you'd find in ski lifts or, or flying camera equipment um, uh, also, I guess bearings are used a lot in the pulleys I have as well, and you know this allows me to apply massive tension to the, the lines, and lines are very efficient for energy generation and, and energy transfer. So the most important thing I want you to know about this project is you can join in. It's an open source project, and all your feedback is going to help make this a world-class product, and you can make it at home. Um, and hopefully we can reduce the environmental impact of energy generation. If I win the $5,000, I'll probably spend it on adapting an e-bike hub generator and I'm going to be publishing more data on improvements that I make to these uh, ring generators, the daisy ring generators. Thanks for listening and join in.